This is Bob Barr bringing you another edition of Liberty Guards, Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and, of course, to follow Liberty Guard on social media. The law that we're going to be talking about today is one that is in the news constantly. And it basically stands for the proposition, it's number 124, that government never runs out of ways to spend your money. And it really doesn't matter whether we're talking about the federal government, a state government, or a local government. They all love to spend your money. And just when you think maybe they've run out of things to spend it on, darn if they don't fool you and find some other idiotic thing to spend your tax dollars on. A couple of examples. Seattle. I I know. Hold on. I mean, I know that you all you all realize that Seattle is just off the charts, uh, uber liberal, idiotic. But in Seattle, there is a, a Shakespeare company that does Shakespearean plays, the Seattle Shakespeare Company. They have decided in their wokeness that they should have matinees that are, let me make sure I get this right, that are BIPOC, B-I-P-O-C, which stands for Brown Indigenous People of Color. So what the Shakespeare company in Seattle is doing with taxpayer money, they got $100,000 of taxpayer money to basically promote Shakespeare play matinees that are not for white people. They want white people to self-segregate themselves out so they don't go to these matinees. Only BIPOC people are supposed to go. Now, what this is intended to do, Lord only knows, but it is so idiotic, but it does show and it does illustrate for us, on a small level at least, that law number 124 really is true. Government never runs out of ways to spend your money. And just as I was reading this today, uh, I noted in the news that there is some sound and fury over hundreds of millions of dollars that are being, billions of dollars that are being spent by state and local governments from COVID relief funds. Remember back during COVID and kind of the middle of the COVID hysteria, uh, the federal government decided that they would have to send out trillions of dollars for COVID relief. Well, They just sort of let the door open for state and local governments to spend that money on whatever they wanted. So that's what they did. They spent it on sports arenas. They spent it on theaters. They spent it on, you know, all sorts of hotels, ski slopes. What all that has to do with COVID, of course, the answer is nothing. But it's taxpayer money in the hundreds of billions of dollars being just thrown out uh, in the name of COVID relief. So whether we're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars or trillion dollars for a COVID relief that's thrown out there by the federal government, or whether we're talking about a small amount, just $100,000 by the city of Seattle to have a no white people are supposed to be here matinee at the Shakespeare Theater, the principle is the same. Let me just leave you with this. We're talking about the idiotic uh, people at the Shakespeare Theater in, in Seattle. And Shakespeare, all those years ago, had it right. He told us that life is a tale told by an idiot. That's from Macbeth. So Shakespeare had it right. He knew it. You know it. We know it. And Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe, Law Number 124, reflects the fact that government never runs out of things to spend your money on. Thank you for being with us, and we look forward to being with you again on our next edition of Liberty Guards, Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. 
This is Bob Barr, and I'd like to thank you for having checked out our program here today, Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. We appreciate your support, your participation, and encourage you to go to libertyguard.org to learn more about our programs and also to help support to further individual freedom and fight against government abuse. One of the ways, but not the only way we do this is through Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe, but through many, many other programs in support of individual liberty and against government abuse. So please remember to join us. Go to libertyguard.org and join us once again for Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. Thank you. My name is Matt Strickland. Liberty Guard saved my family business. I spent most of my adult life fighting for my country overseas. When I came home, I became a small business owner and sadly realized that nobody would fight for me. Our state and local government were trying to shut my family business down for good. And that's when I found Liberty Guard. With Liberty Guard's help, we won the battle against government overreach. And now my business is thriving and growing faster than ever. Stand with Matt and others just like you in the fight against government overreach. Join Liberty Guard today.